Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Welcome to the beginning of my indoor aquaponics system. We're in uh, one of my animal rooms now. So here's the gist of what's going on here. I've got it all laid out. I begin to fill different parts of it with water. These are two 100 gallon stock tanks from uh, Tractor Supply. 32 gallon husky trash can and I've got a 55 gallon drum sawed in half that I built a frame for and that was soybean oil in there but I've cleaned it out. And then I've got 3 inch PVC pipe connecting it all. So the flow of the water goes in a circle clockwise. So it begins with the pump I got on Amazon, pumps it through this 1 inch hose down into the barrel and I've got a little hose clamp to keep the hose from popping out and I actually have it swirled around and there's a weight on the bottom end of the hose and uh, that way the water comes in at the bottom and has to go through the filter media and up and out that exit. So the filter media is going to be loofah sponges from the dollar store which I have in the outdoor pond right now. I'm going to bring those in after I give them a rinse. That's what I'm going to use for this. So it goes into the first grow bed and uh, this is going to have um, a little mesh covering where, where the uh, entrance and exit are to keep the, the grow media out of there. But basically it's going to be filled with expanded clay pellets. And then um, so is that one. It goes right in, through into that one and then down the tube into the first stock tank. So this stock tank will have turtles in it. You can hear the turtles in the background splashing around, climbing around. And uh, the turtles are going to go in here and then I have this special valve that I made, very, very simple thing, but basically if you work three pipes together with two elbows, so it's almost like a U, if you invert this underwater and then fill it entirely with water and then pop the caps on while it's still underwater, when you flip it over like this and get both ends underwater again, pop the caps off and this will stay full of water and what it does is it equalizes the water depth in both of these tanks. So what ends up happening is when the water comes down back into this tank from the grow beds, water will get sucked up into here and back down to this one to go back to the pump again. So it'll always keep the two of these exactly the same water level. So I've got these tied in place because the turtles are a pain in the butt. They're kind of rough, but it can't really move too much without hitting the tank anyway. That's just to make sure. So um, I'm gonna get ready to fire this up, get the pump working, there's probably going to be a few leaks I'm going to have to plug. And then um, if it all checks out, I will then I'm going to put some white marble chips in the bottom of these to make them look nice. Add some branches in there for the turtles to climb on. In this one, I'm going to have uh, goldfish, large goldfish, fancy goldfish, koi, and also some catfish. So uh, in here, I'm just going to have like the gravel. So, and then I've got to put the loofah sponges in there and then the clay pellets and the mesh in here. And then this system will be up and running. And then I can grow plants in here. I'll have to get some LED lights for it. But other than that, we'll be ready to roll. Stay tuned for an update.